Hey guys, so uh, we just got back to the room. We are, uh, we just got done unwinding a little bit and I think we're gonna go grab some uh, lunch. A um, kind of later, later lunch. But uh, yeah, we're gonna go to the Sasagula Inn. I think that's what it's called. I, maybe it's just Sasagula, I don't know. But uh, yeah, we just wanted to show you guys uh, the resort a little bit. So, yeah. Okay guys, so this is the uh, French Quarter uh, Courtyard. Very, very nice. Very well kept up. Uh, you guys can see some of the landscape. It's just a gorgeous uh, property. And uh, Port Orleans is uh, quite obviously themed to uh, New Orleans, uh, Mardi Gras. The uh, buildings are a Victorian style slash New Orleans style uh, finish. You guys can see that there. Um, very nice, very well themed for sure. So uh, yeah, it's just amazing. We love it. Very, very nice for, for a moderate. Yeah, it looks like a road here that you would see in uh, New Orleans. Uh, obviously, you know, during Mardi Gras as well. So, um, yeah, you've got the street lamps. You've also got road signs, which are very well themed. It literally feels like we're walking through the streets of New Orleans right now. And uh, it's just, it's great. We love it. We love it so far. So, I don't know if you guys can see that, but some of the sign, some of the street names here, Ponchart Train Way, probably butchered that, and uh, Jazz Alley. So yeah, that's really cool. So uh, here's a fountain here in the middle of the courtyard. It's just gorgeous. It just, it fits so well here in the theme. A poor Orleans uh, French Quarter um, just absolutely awesome you got a couple of benches here and again like I'd mentioned the the landscape is just uh, on par and, and just absolutely amazing uh, for a moderate resort uh, we couldn't be happier yeah we cannot be happier Dylan what is that is that is that a fountain whoa that's so cool huh thumbs up yeah hey guys so check it out we're on rutabaga street and we're at the corner of rutabaga and Ruta Blues. We're, yeah we're at the corner of rutabaga and ruta blues i wouldn't have it any other way if that if that isn't if that doesn't scream mardi gras i don't know what does huh, right <laughs> oh, look so this there. is a nice long walkway so you can see some of these older very beautiful trees here and they provide some really nice shade Dylan and Jen are enjoying the walk Dylan say hi Hi. look at the camera smile you having fun <laughs> he's tiptoeing along the edge of the sidewalk here I look yeah you got to be careful though okay <laughs> Mom Just there. A nice leisurely stroll. Oh yeah. Check out this guy playing the saxophone. He asked Dylan to come up on stage and he is just playing his heart out and Dylan is helping him along. Absolutely amazing. So this is a Sasagula Float Works food factory which is uh, where we're about to eat. We'll give you guys our uh, reviews on what we thought of the food uh, later on. So yeah, check it out. Check it out guys, this piano is playing by itself. It is awesome. Hey 
Hey guys, so uh, we are here at uh, Epcot Food and Wine with uh, Josh and Jenna from uh, Resort TV One, and they're actually live streaming right now. And we are with them and very excited to be a part of their live stream and just hang out and enjoy food and wine. So yeah, it's a little cloudy out, but uh, hopefully, hopefully the weather holds off. So uh, we'll see. So yeah, Josh and Jenna, Resort TV One. If you guys haven't subscribed, subscribe to them. They have some really awesome content. Hey, we are uh, walking around Epcot, heading to Food and Wine. It is definitely cooled off here, and the breeze feels great. So, again, we are with uh, Josh and Jenna with Resort TV One. And again, we are only changing. They've got. Yeah, so we're outside of Universe of Energy and they've uh, drained the pool. So this is the first time <laughs> that uh, we've seen Universe of Energy uh, after it's closed. So it looks a little weird. But uh, yeah, so I'm looking forward to what they're going to do with it. So we are checking out the Festival Center. We're going to go in and see what's going on in here. Um, the sign says Taste Epcot. So I'm excited to see what is inside. Let's see. So, and we're going to go up here and take a look at the festival center. If we lose connection, please just refresh and we'll come back. I don't know what the signal is like. We're heading into unknown territory. <laughs> so we are headed inside the festival center and we just found out that we can get our food and wine uh, buttons and that's going to be awesome. Can't wait to see it. Hey guys, we're back just uh, doing a little vlog here. This is uh, Chef Figment here. And this is kept up so well. Uh, I was telling Josh and Jenna earlier that we've kind of walked around, we've never kind of partaken of food and wine, and it's really cool to just stop and take in all the details for sure. So stay tuned. So Josh is trying the filet mignon. Here we go. Yeah. Does it compare to La Cellier at all? How does very it compare? Similar. Very similar. similar right. uh, very corky. They say my ears are very corky. Very corky. Ah, that's good. I mean, I'm not sure. I may have to try it again. We'll see. You may have to. I may have to have another bite. I don't know. My ears are 14% alcohol. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, very funny. Yes. You guys are very funny. Funny. <laughs> funny. And Honey indeed. This, uh, mushroom truffle sauce on the bottom that makes it really good too. Oh, a mushroom. Yeah, I'll take a bite. Yeah, it's a mushroom truffle sauce. Ooh, guys, it smells good. I got an extra uh, fork if you want to try it. Okay. Yeah. Come nice. try one. So our first stop at Food and Wine is Australia, and let me show you the menu. Someone mentioned during the live stream with Resort TV One to get the lamb. So we are getting the lamb. Some more Tokyo. sights and sounds. Wow, Tokyo. Well, this move is holding up quite nicely, hopefully. I'm trying not to be too shaky. What's that, Jen? Oh, it's just cool. Hey, good morning, guys. Good uh, morning. Happy uh, Saturday. Today is Saturday, September 2nd. Uh, we just want to come on and do a quick uh, recap of our day yesterday. So, uh, Jen, what did we start off with yesterday? Oh man, our day was absolutely amazing. Um, we were supposed to go to Volcano Bay, but we kept checking the weather, and since the weather was supposed to be terrible all day, we decided to opt out of Volcano Bay and go to the Magic Kingdom. Um, good thing we did, because we greatly enjoyed our time at the Magic Kingdom. Um, we got to ride Space Mountain and Peter Pan, and what else did we ride? Space Mountain, Peter Pan, People Mover, um, Buzz Lightyear, Buzz Lightyear, 
Uh, it, was, it was a great day. We were there for about four and a half hours. Got some really good pictures as well. We were able to get fast passes like last minute for some of those things, mm -hmm. which was awesome because you can't usually get fast passes mm -hmm. last minute, especially for some of the bigger rides. Yeah, it was it was awesome. The highlight of yesterday though was uh, live streaming with uh, Resort TV One. That was awesome. We live streamed with them for about two and a half hours, and um, if you guys haven't checked it out, go to their uh, YouTube. Uh, channel and uh, just type in uh, <clears throat> live stream with our themed life which is us so. yeah and sorry if you watched it and I wasn't a part of it the entire time um, there was a time when Dylan got a little hard to deal with and so I had to step away and take care of him and make sure he was good and then I met back up with all of them so. yeah it was it was all good uh, the weather uh, got kind of bad at around 7 30 but uh, we made the best of it. We went into uh, the Mexico Pavilion and uh, rode the Three Caballeros, which is one of our favorites. It was a great night. We thoroughly enjoyed it. They are very nice people, very awesome people, and we look forward to uh, uh, streaming with them uh, again soon. Yeah. So uh, I'm backing up, we uh, wanted to say that we did kind of a quick tour of our resort here at uh, Port Orleans French Quarter. So uh, check that out. And we also ate at the uh, Sasagula uh, Cafe, or what's it called? I think you said it was Sasagula Inn. I just know it as Sasagula. Yeah, and uh, real quick, I had the uh, jambalaya, which I think was uh, like $14.99. It's very good, it was spicy. Uh, I enjoyed it, very filling. Uh, what'd you get? So I had the uh, shrimp po' boy, um, and it was awesome. Um, the bread, the top and bottom were not connected, so it was kind of hard to pick up, so I ended up having to eat it in pieces, but I really enjoyed it. It came with a side item, and the side I got was a pasta salad, um, and then we got Dylan a pepperoni pizza, um, with the grapes and a cookie, and we ordered an order of beignets with strawberry dipping sauce. Now, all of this came to, like, 30 bucks, which isn't bad, I mean, consider all the food that we got um and by the way those beignets oh they were so good mm -hmm. so you order beignets in three to six like you can either get three or six of them i ordered six of them because there's three of us and i wasn't sure exactly how big they were i should have ordered three of them because they were pretty large mm -hmm. um and you get choice of three different dipping sauces the one I got was strawberry. It's basically strawberries in a blender puree. It was so good. Yeah, they were good. Uh, they were a lot bigger than I thought for sure. But yeah, Sasagula was uh, really good. I think we're gonna try and eat uh, breakfast there uh, tomorrow morning. So uh, that, that should be good. We'll do our review on that as well. So uh, yeah, that is a recap of our day yesterday, day one, I guess. So uh, we are at the start of day two. We are going back to Epcot today. And uh, we got a few fast passes and we're just going to enjoy the day. So uh, you guys check it out and we'll uh, see you soon. Bye, Bye guys.